We left Fort White, very inspired by the kids, and went off to Pilot Mound, Manitoba, to visit Harborside Farms. And when we got there, we were greeted by the Caver family, and uh, they had set up in a very short time a lovely um, concert for us so that we could play, perform for all their family and friends. And we ended up playing there because their daughter Mika saw a farming newsletter that uh, had us in the newsletter talking about our tour across Canada and she was really excited about the idea of having musicians come to the farm so she asked her parents if we could visit them. And so it was and we played this uh, concert in front of a wood pile with uh, um, all of their animals and pets Kittens. kind of roaming around. We had the opportunity of hearing their daughter Mika perform and she just blew us away. Uh, she played a couple of songs and we can't wait to hear more of her music. So that was a highlight of uh, that concert for sure. He says, babe, what do you say? You wanna run away? We could see how far this tank of gas will get us. We could lay out in the sun all day, telling secrets and kissing the problems away. What do you say? And then we woke up in the morning and had a tour of the farm and we went to go see um, just how all the animals were living and we went to go see the pigs. And one of the things I really felt by being in that farm was the how the animals were just working in harmony together. Um, and also something that the cavers told us is that they like to support their animals as minimally as possible. So like that, that really, you know, the animals are just self-sufficient and just kind of being more natural that way. We're trying to breed animals that can basically, if we give them the essentials of life, can look after their own business. Mm -hmm. And we just come and harvest a few and we need to harvest a few and we look after the biggest part of what they do and then they're on their own from there. Mm -hmm. The good ones have babies and survive and the bad ones don't. But yeah, if you were to bring, like we've done that, brought barn pigs here they don't have any clue what to be doing. <laughs> Sometimes they just stand there and die. They don't yeah. even know where to go to food. Let alone if they're having babies, they just drop them and go, oh, then gone. They don't know that they should build a nest and that they should stay there for three or four days to make everybody content. And You know, it's quite interesting how quickly they lose their ability to tend themselves. And also about learning about the difference between um, grass-fed um, cattle and grain-fed cattle and the importance of uh, grass-fed cattle. Mm -hmm. So these guys will get finished right on grass so they don't get, ever get any grain at all. Grain-finished beef isn't as beneficial for, for people to eat because cattle are never designed to eat grain. Mm -hmm. So it'd be like for a cannibal eating the guy that was the, you know, really fit you know, a healthy guy, <laughs> as opposed to eating the guy that ate at McDonald's every every day. It's like eating bread, that's the one I compare it to. We just eat bread every day, you know, for 60 days, nothing else, just bread. Mm -hmm. We would be like looking bread-like and we would be really uh, soft. And we'd be squares. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we totally would be. And it would be, uh, we'd be easy to eat, right? Because there's really no, nothing, nothing to us, so. That's what they finish cattle on is, you know, 60 days of a ration of, yeah, of yeah. starch. And it's, so it's no wonder that they jiggle and they're easy to eat. But if you, if you extended their life past that, they wouldn't live long. Mm -hmm. They die very quickly because their body can't digest that. You know, they're, they're, they're meant to get to a certain stage and then that's it. Then they need to, to die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Otherwise they won't live. If you put a grass fed beef next to a, a finished grass fed beef and a finished grain fed beef, the grass-fed beef would just keep living, <laughs> and the grain-fed one that's finished would die. Kidney failure, liver failure. All sorts mm. of things that go wrong because that's they hit a certain right. point and they can't, because they just can't digest it. Mm.